the summer, I believe, of 1997, my daughter called me to say she'd met this fantastic guy, Ray Carruth, who was playing for the Carolina Panthers at the time. She was just instantly infatuated with him. He had a great smile and just outgoing, fun-loving. I had no reason not to like him. But he was not the person that she thought he was. He was more of a, a ladies' man. By the time that she found out she was pregnant, their relationship was very tumultuous. He was almost like a Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde kind of guy. He seemed to be really excited at first, but then and he told her he didn't want to start having a lot of children illegitimately. He already had one son, and he wasn't there for him. Sharika always wanted to be a mom. She was not going to have an abortion. November 16th, this was going to be their first official date as a couple again. She really thought that the relationship was taking a step forward. She even had in the back of her mind, I think, Mom, he might even ask me to marry him tonight. Mama, I've been shot. You've been shot? Where are you at, me? I'm eight months pregnant. How'd this happen? Uh, I was following my baby's daddy, Ray Caruso, my boy. Where's he at? He was in the car in front of me, and he slowed down and put my foot up and said, I'm in this. And then where'd he go? I don't remember getting dressed. I don't remember driving. I just remember showing up and being at the hospital. When I got there and Ray wasn't there, my, my initial reaction was, and he doesn't know. I'm calling him and paging him, telling him Sharika's been shot, she's in surgery, they're taking the baby by cesarean section. I mean, you need to get here as quickly as you can. And I just remember waiting hours. And when he did show up, he showed up with another couple and another woman. And my heart just sank. Not once did he ask me how she was doing. Not once did he ask me, did my son make it or how is my son? I remember that long walk to the neonatal unit and when I saw Chancellor, ah, oh, he was just the most precious sight. He had all the little tubes all over him and everything, but he was just beautiful. The doctors gave us such a grim prognosis with the cerebral palsy that every part of his brain had been affected. All along, I knew, I held on to my faith that God is in control of this. Who shot 24-year-old Sharika Adams while she was driving along Ray Road in Southeast Charlotte around 12.30 Tuesday morning? Police say she was traveling toward town when four shots were fired into her driver's side window. It is inconceivable to us how anyone could commit the cowardly deeds that have left them fighting for their lives. The man they most want to talk to, her boyfriend and Panthers wide receiver Ray Carruth, so far has declined to be interviewed by police. It is our hope and belief that all the persons responsible for bringing our child and grandchild to the brink of death will be brought to justice with swiftness and certainty. The doctors had to induce a coma. For 28 days, she fought. We had to make a decision. It was a difficult decision, but it was one that I made with peace, knowing that I still had Sharika with me through Chancellor. Her legacy is living on. Her living won't be in vain, and neither will her death. Homicide investigators received information on December the 15th, 1999, that Mr. Carruth was staying in a motel. They found him hiding in the trunk of a Toyota in the motel parking lot. The trial 
it was not about Sharika. It was about Ray and his lascivious lifestyle. We're not even getting the gist of why we're here. If someone has lost their life, she was looking so forward to turning 25. The plans and aspirations that she had in life and the plans that she had for the, her child were just all just snuffed out just with this heinous crime. The really wonderful thing is that Sharika kept a journal, pregnancy journal, and she wrote down such detailed notes. There were several times in her journal she mentioned how Ray parked in a really remote area. She believed someone had been in her apartment. It coincided with Van Brett Watkins' testimony about how he had taken money from Ray to shoot her. And I really say that Sharika's voice was even speaking from the grave. That the defendant, uh, Ray Carruth, is guilty of discharging a firearm into occupied property, guilty of using an instrument with intent to destroy an unborn child, guilty of conspiracy to commit murder, and not guilty of first degree murder. I truly believe that forgiveness is a choice. It's not a feeling. And sometimes I had to make that choice thousands of times a day. I pray that he comes to an acknowledgement and a repentance because God can use his life to touch so many more people. But if he never does that, and if he never asks me to forgive him, it's not about him. It's about Chancellor. Well, on the white bench, right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think he's been smiling since he was born. He even had a smile then. He is so amazing. Anybody around me, if they had doubts of if there was a God and how good God is, they could see it through Chancellor. Say, hey, Mommy Angel. Hey, you boy, Angel. He's my miracle boy. God was right in the middle of all of it because he was able to let Sharika drive that car after she'd been shot with four bullets in her. She was blowing the horn to get attention. She was able to call for help. She was able to get to the hospital to deliver this baby. She was able to live for 28 days. That was nothing but God and his angels working overtime. He says that he'll never leave us or forsake us, and he has not done that. I'm so grateful, so grateful. They didn't bury Sharika, they planted her. So she's still growing and growing and growing. <laughs>